Plate aluminium centre cabs have come along in leaps and bounds in recent years. The Formosa 580 Tomahawk is certainly the pick of the bunch. The Tomahawk's full walk around design and huge deck are a real bonus. Everything is well proportioned in this boat. The self-draining deck is a big plus and the fold down rocket launcher system is clever and very convenient. The Tomahawk is an extremely dry boat, very manoeuvrable and the wraparound windscreen, not often seen on these types of vessels, complements the gorgeous gunmetal metallic paint job, making it one of the best, if not the best looking boat on the water. The Formosa 580 Tomahawk is a beautiful boat that stands out from the fleet. But what would the judges think? It's a plate boat, it rides reasonably well. It's very full in its bow, it keeps its bow up really well. It's got good stability. Um, its handling and performance is quite acceptable. I like the layout of a walk around and a lot of people do, a lot of people don't. But I think they've got it pretty well right. Yeah, the walk around's really good. I mean, us fishermen, to be able to get to the front of the boat, to get a cast away at some fish or at a bommy or whatever is good. On a walk around, you sort of always have a bit of a compromise. In this case, your cabins are generally a little bit smaller, but you're getting protection. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's what you prefer. Uh, as far as intended purpose, fishing wise, it, it's a good fishable boat. There's plenty of room across the back. It's beamy in the back end in the cockpit. And uh, while it hasn't got a big cabin, you've got that walk around advantage, so you can fish a few anglers, multiple hookups and the like. Uh, not only that, you can fit a lot of tackle into that cabin and it's a flat deck so all the boxes and everything else can stack in there. It's a full boat, and I like that full body construction in an aluminium boat. When I say that, it's very full off the bows. Uh, it's got good, good hull rise off the bow. It keeps the bow up really well, even in a following sea. There's just no, not even indication of any tracking or broach or anything like that. The rod, the handling, 100% as far as I'm concerned. For its size, its weight, it's all good. handled well, got some good air, it came off the jumps really well, didn't bite, didn't thrash me around, so I'm really happy with its performance. Uh, one of the highlights is the ride, it's quite uh, quite soft to um, bounce through with the chop and waves. It's also quite manoeuvrable, it's very good, 135 E-Tech and uh, bounces along nicely. The windscreen looks great, it's a wraparound windscreen which is unusual for an aluminium boat of that nature. It actually worked quite well. One thing that did catch my eye was the hard top that it's got on it. Now, in that case, instead of a bimini, which can be a bit rattly on, on occasions, this hard top here is solid, it's fixed down well, and there's a bit of a bonus here where it's got a hinge system at the back so you can drop it back for if you're parking in sheds and things, no need to have an oversized shed. Drop the top down and you're good to go. Quality finish is good for an aluminium boat. Yeah, I'd, I'd rate it with one of the better boats I've seen. Yeah, if you like plate tinnies, it's got an X Factor. Oh, the X Factor's got to be the look of the boat. It just looks smart, it's got nice lines, drop shear off the bow. Definitely, it's a good boat for what it was designed for. Very good boat. The Tomahawk won three categories, including value for money. But did it score enough to win the crown? You'll have to wait and see.